Gravity Falls Lost Legends was released exactly one year ago today by Disney Press, an imprint of Disney Book Group. If you'd like to read it for yourself, the Amazon link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining my Discord. Without further ado, here is the culmination of a freaking year of work. Hidden neath the dappled beams of honey-colored sunlight, betwixt the blackberry brambles and the brook's eerie song, legends whisper of an unseen world. Unmarked on the maps of men is the land of the gnomes. Least among these creatures is Shmebulok, a gnome they say is so stupid that he can only speak his own accursed name. Look at that dummy, Shmebulok! I yes, that's the one. But there is more to this poor soul than meets the eye. I would know. For well, I am Shmebulok. Greetings, curious traveler. Although I was cursed by a dark warlock eons ago to only speak my own name, once every thousand years I am gifted by moonlight to speak the tongue of man, and tonight is that night! While I am shunned by gnome society for my regrettable curse, I have made the most of my exile by studying the unknown secrets of this town. Specifically, secrets of the family Pines. Through the summer, I followed every one of their adventures and rooted through their trash for evidence. <laughs> you can say I'm a fan. And I have opinions! Loose ends I would like to see tied up and certain characters who I think should be with other characters. Romantically! I think about it day and night. It torments me. N no matter. This isn't about that. Tonight, I am here to bring you lost tales, forbidden adventures from the past that are yet untold. For your curiosity, I have assembled these various contents here on this table. This, shall I say, table of contents. Face it! Dipper, I'm going to be out for three days hunting the elusive Mothman. He owes me money. I trust you to look after my journals while I'm gone. All three journals? Me? After? Look! Yes, those are most of the words I said. In a somewhat worrying order. Try not to sit too close to the TV. And I'm off! Use the door next time, show off! Mabel, this is amazing. Finally, I have all three journals. According to this, Ford once stated a siren! Wowie zowie, paranormal rashes. This was sure worth the wait. Is that your friends? Uh, don't think so. Brenda usually headbutts the door. Whoa, Pacifica! My favorite frenemy! Or is it Enum Fred? Huh, long time no see, Pacifica. Any more ghosts try to murder you this week? I wish, Dipper. It's so much worse. I got my first wrinkle. Look! It's not funny, our annual Northwest Family Magazine cover shoot is tomorrow! Ever since the haunting at Northwest Manor, I've been on thin ice with mom and dad. I need to look perfect for this year's photo or they'll cut off one of my six credit cards! Pacifica, wrinkles are nothing to be afraid of! Think of them as friends who live on your face and will eventually cover you until you're dead! You don't understand. First it's one wrinkle, then another, and before you know it, you look like... Welcome to your future, sweetheart. Ah! Ugh, yep. My makeup is useless. I need your creepy book of nerd magic. If it can chase away a ghost, it can chase away a wrinkle. Pacifica, look, I'd like to help, but those journals are super dangerous. Yeah, their unholy power can only be wielded by a sweaty 12-year-old in shorts. Uh, fine, then can I at least use your powder room? I need to wash the smell of grandpas and pine needles out of my hair. <laughs> You'll get used uh, to it. Second door to the left. It's okay, Pacifica. Line is fine if it's in the service of what really matters. Looks. Let's see. Vampire bite? No. What's the point of being hot forever if you can't see your reflection? Fountain of youth? 
Ah, uh, public pools are for hobos. Ah, here we go. Mr. What's-His-Face can fix anything you don't like about your face for a price. To summon him, simply finish reading this sentence. Yes, this sentence, the one you're reading aloud right now. You call? Ah, you there, Magic Butler. Fix my eye bags, chop chop. I've got places to be and people to make jealous. But why stop at eye bags? I can do so much more. I can give you a face that's completely blemish free forever. Just come closer. Oh, Pacifica, where are you? I knitted you a self-esteem sweater. Mabel's gonna force you to wear it. Just accept it. Oh no, Pacifica! I'll pay in cash. Can you break a thousand dollar bill? Pacifica, no! What? Ah! Mabel, are you okay? Oh my gosh. He stole your face! Yes, obviously. I was trying to steal hers, but a face is a face, I suppose. Can't be too picky in this market. Thanks for summoning me, by the way. My work here is done. Guys, help me! I've never been in a monster's purse, and I don't want to start now! Au revoir! Pacifica, this is all your fault! I told you not to touch that journal! I'm sorry. Northwests are naturally good at lying. It's hard to turn off. Uh, what do we do? How do we find that monster? <laughs> My face can see out his bag? He's running towards Main Street? What? Mabel, stay right here! We're gonna hunt down that creep and get back your face! On the bright side though, your skin is super smooth. I can't believe you, Pacifica. Didn't you learn anything during the ghost incident? Like maybe something about growing as a person? Look, I happen to care about my appearance, all right? Just like how you care about kissing aliens or whatever. I've never kissed an alien! I've never kissed anyone! Well. Obviously, you live in a barn. I'm already regretting bringing you on this. There he is! Help me! It smells like mothballs and morning breath in here! Try to catch me if you dare, but you'll find I'm not anywhere. That's not normal. No, it's paranormal. Welcome to my life. Now, how do we get in? Didn't that freak show have some kind of key? Wait, of course! That's it! The president's key! A former president gave this to me. I think he also gave me cholera? Might want to get that checked out. Prepare yourself, Pacifica. If I know gravity falls, things are going to get weird. Oh, fun. A tunnel made of living skin. Yeah, I'm not going in there. My sister has no face thanks to you? We're going in. Are you insane? This hallway has teeth. You wanted to mess with magic? Well, congrats, Pacifica. Today, you're messing with magic. Seven heads! Straight from a wet cave! Where are we? Incredible! I read about this in the journal! It's a paranormal black market under the town! This must be where Gravity Falls weirdness hides during the day. Assorted curses, back by unpopular demand. Repressed memories, buy one, forget one free. Nightmare fuel, get it while it's traumatizing. The crawl space. Apparently the author searched for it for years, but never found his way in. We must be the first humans to make it inside alive! Wow. If this is what your days are like, I understand why your only friend is a book. So, how are we gonna find your sister's face at this horror show? I have a hunch everyone here has a price. But we're going to need disguises. Quick! We need to cover ourselves in garbage so we blend in! What?! You don't want to be eaten by monsters, do you? Ugh, fine. Like this? <laughs> I just said that to see if you'd do it. <laughs> 
What? Oh, you are so dead. And who exactly are you two supposed to be? Uh, uh, we're, uh... Um, isn't it obvious? I'm Jackie the Elf Bandit, and this is my servant, Troll Boy. I'm here to sell him into indentured servitude. What? Quiet, <laughs> Troll Boy! <laughs> Servants, am I right? Ho-ho! <laughs> You're all right, Bandit Jackie. And I love the garbage on your face. So what can I do for you? My servant here is looking for replacement body parts for obvious reasons. I mean, look at his abnormally large head. It's not abnormally large. Did you say body parts? Lemmy Jimmy's the name and appendages are my game. Lend me your ear and I'll lend you a hand, but it'll cost you an arm and a leg. Waka waka! Ugh, we don't need puns, we need faces. I make puns because I'm deeply insecure. Yuck, yuck. If you want faces, talk to that guy. A face with a chin. Now Chandra will remove that restraining order for sure. Pleasure doing business with you. That's him. Okay, this is it. We follow him, we find Mabel. Dr. Cruz feeds beauty pills. What? Guaranteed to cure your wrinkles and make you a stunning queen girl. Wait, beauty pills. I need these. Pacifica, we don't have time. But my photo dipper, this is my chance. Who cares? I care. Why are you so obsessed with looking so impossibly perfect? Why can't you just accept you're human? Uh-oh. Two humans. Well, bless my lack of a soul. We're not humans. We're just dogs. Shave dogs that can talk. What? I don't know, I'm not good under pressure. We got ourselves a right proper human auction we have. Demons and gentle monsters, stop your bids. Oh gosh, where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? Oh gosh. Sold! Hope you kids like burlap. Wait, what do we do? What about Mabel? Mabel! Have you seen my world's most distracting object? Could have sworn I left it in the... Okay, let's get a look at these beauty pills. Side effects, spontaneous face explosion? Ugh, that's what I get for trusting a crow in a bow tie. Well, looks like your dumb obsession with your looks is gonna get us sold for spare parts of the Crypt Keeper. So, thanks. Ugh, I'm sorry. You wouldn't understand what I'm dealing with. Well, maybe you could try explaining. There's just so much pressure on me, Dipper. My mom is a trophy wife. Literally. My dad won her in a yachting competition. She always taught me that beauty was everything. And the ugly duckling never made any friends because his face was weird. The end. Wait, aren't there more pages? Nope. Enjoy your beauty sleep. You've got a pageant tomorrow. My mom always said people judge a book by its cover. I need my cover dipper. Because without it, I'm not sure who I really am. Pacifica, you gotta stop worrying about what other people think. I mean, the happiest people I know are Mabel and Grunkle Stan. One has chips in her hair and the other never wears pants. A as much as I hate to admit it, you're smart, creative, confident. Forget about your dumb family. Ever since you saved me at Northwest Manor, I've noticed another side of you. I think I see the real Pacifica, and you're more than just a pretty face. Your head's not that big. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Ah! Look who decided to drop in. I never forget a face. Hey guys, I was wondering when you'd find me. I've actually been having fun down here, making friends, spitting on things. I taught these guys to do the whip with our tongues. Please get rid of her. <laughs> You! That flyer was false advertising. Give me Mabel's face back and nobody gets sued. Oh, Pacifica, my dear child. You're in my world and you do not want to face off with me. Dipper, oh my gosh, no! No! Why have one twin when I can complete the set? Thank you for finishing my collection. Pacifica! 
That's enough, you thrift store freak show. Hand them over or I'll scream so loud the cops will find this place from a mile away. Let's not be so hasty. I can still give you the face you've always dreamed of. Let me keep them, and you could look like this for all eternity. But fight me, and face your inevitable future. Looks don't last, Pacifica. And when you're ugly, no one will love you. So what will it be? Your looks, or theirs? How about yours? <laughs> My face! My beautiful flesh tornado of a face! Dipper, Mabel, jump! Haha, <laughs> yes! And your various faces! This is the weirdest day of my life. Hurry! He's gaining on us! What do we do? I've got a plan! Go left! What? Into the outhouse? Trust me, just do it! When I get my hands on you, they'll never find your faceless body. <laughs> Prepare to be destroyed! Uncle Ford! Stan called me when he found your sister like this. It's a good thing I'm great at charades! I've been trying to find that market for years! It looks like I have a new specimen for the bunker. Nicely done, kids. Oh boy! It is great to get the band back together! I miss these two peepers! Boop! Yes, you've got your face back and... Oh no, it's 5.55! My photo shoot is in five minutes and I look... I look like me. Thanks, guys. I needed this. Mm. Hey, why is Stan suddenly hot now? And so Pacifica learned that beauty is only skin deep and... Dipper learned the best place for romance is trapped inside a burlap sack. Speaking of which, I intercepted this text exchange between the two of them afterwards, and I found it interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Dipper, so about that hug. Don't get the wrong idea or anything. There was monster drill on my sleeve, and I was just wiping it off on you. As if I'd actually hug you on purpose? Pacifica? This is Mabel. Dipper doesn't have a cell phone. What hug? What? Uh, nothing. This was a prank text. OMG, do you like Dipper? Delete this number. Well, that's the wedding. I'm whoa, whoa, sending whoa, whoa, my whoa. butler to break oh, your yes, legs. Uh, <laughs> oh, uncomfortable. Anyway, if you think that seems sketchy, Prepare yourself for our next story. Calm Mix-Up. Have you ever seen a baby that looked old? Like an old baby? Well, we've officially run out of things to talk about. If only there was a way to go on an adventure without getting up or tilting my neck. Who wants a truckload of comic books? What? I will lead us filling my storage closet with our creepy porcelain angels. So I need a new place to keep my comic collection. Enjoy, dudes! Whoa! Adolescent power fantasies! Pretty men in prettier tights! And with a little light out, you can fix the boring dialogue! Egad! My face is 90% chin! I'll never punch away my loneliness! <laughs> Eyes the reward, here I come! Bah! So-called comic books are dumb rags for babies and the perpetually unemployed! Zeus! Load these into the bottomless pit! But Mr. Pines, comics are a legitimate artistic medium. Like Easter egg painting, or rodeo clowning. Boulder Dash! Words and pictures are an unholy union. Besides, these goof em up rags just distract the employees. Look! <laughs> oh, Blarchy, who needs a personality when you have freckles? That's it! I'm hiding these wacky pages before they convince you to go to art school! Hey! Ew! My comics! What will I complain about online now? I'll just hide him in Ford's horrifying old chest. No one would ever open this nightmare. There's no way this could ironically backfire. I'm finally free from comics! Or was he?
Another day finds Grunkle Stan scratching himself, pantsless and alone. What the? What is that yellow box? Stan is vexed by the narration, but alas, he is too dumb to do anything about it. Hey, cut that out! Stan swipes, but is too slow to stop the box. Is this the end of our hero? Get it, wise guy! I'll teach you to omnisciently narrate me! <laughs> Later, down in the lab. This dumb box won't stop narrating me! It keeps using obnoxious words like zounds and meanwhile. Hmm. You're clearly under some kind of curse. Did you insult anyone lately? Oh, sure. A nun, some Girl Scouts, the entire House of Representatives, and just some comics. But I locked those in your old chest in the closet. Stan, the chest is cursed! Is everything you own cursed? Moments later. Stan Pines! You must atone for the sin of insulting the medium of the graphic novel. Don't you mean comic? No, I mean graphic novel. Seems kind of pretentious is all. Just for that, this world will be your tomb! This is bad. Later. Oh no, Stan's trapped in a comic. Oh no, it's expensive! Oh no! Costs extra for our friends in Canada! Well, my brother's charming personality has gotten us into another fix. To get him out, we're gonna have to go inside the comic and rescue him! Go inside a comic? This is some advanced escapism. Finally! A place where I can be violent with zero repercussions! I wanna hug every talking animal! Alright, everyone. Things are about to get two dimensional. Say goodbye to your wits. It's been an honor to serve you. Last one there has to keep Marmaduke! Try to rescue your uncle if you dare, but beware, you might be drawn into a terrible fate! <laughs> We're in. Now start looking for Stanley, and don't touch anything! This is so weird. We're stuck in tiny boxes. This must be how mimes feel all the time! Check it out, dogs! I made a thwack! Hey! Cool! Two hats! What? Hey! Cool! Two hats! I guess I should have seen that coming. Be careful. This world is subjective and unstable. It could change styles at any moment. Fart! <laughs> I feel funny. Yeah, really funny! We seem to be in Smash Magazine. Watch your step, or you might get spoofed. It's just a style fluctuation. Don't get distracted by the zaniness! You there! Have you seen a guy around here? Looks like me. If I gave up on life. Say, sure have. I can lead you right to him. But you gotta catch me, sucker! This is way less funny when it's happening to me. Follow that creature <laughs> to Stanley! And watch out for style change! Yeah! I'm late for class! Yeah! My eyes are gratuitously large! Yeah! My legs are gold. Nice skirt dip. What is this nightmare? This is heart captor Doki Doki Neko chan, dude. It's about frisky high school kids who have been 16 years old for the last decade. Everyone here is secretly in love with everyone else. Prepare for blushing! Hmm, yes, there seem to be dangerously high levels of romance in the air. Just keep searching for that purple fellow. And whatever you do, don't make eye contact. Don't you worry, Crunkle Ford. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> Mabel Sun, it's me, Senpai Gideon. Help me collect the seven Crystal Sailor Angel capture cards, and then we can finally kiss. Titty? No, never! Yikes! <laughs> Sorry, guys, everyone here is just so hot! I'm not even going to look at that water fountain! <laughs> look, it's that cartoon jerk! Quick, follow him into that locker before our eyes get any bigger! <laughs> Now we're talking. What is this place? It's like we're inside Dipper's brain. This is the Grim Dark Chronicles, a comic where everyone you like dies. It's very popular. You there? Have you seen a pointy man with a fedora and no respect for the laws of physics? I can't see much, pal. These pages are 80% pure black. I have seen the man you seek. <coughs> you went in through those catacombs. <coughs> Bird, I trust you 100%! Cool! So what? I'm sticking out my tongue right now so you can't see! 
This metal fist is chafing, guys. I think we're getting close. This could be it. Suddenly, our heroes find themselves in the city of Conflictropolis. Wait a minute, half tone colors? This doesn't look right. The Indestructibodies. Issue number 618. Overextended Universe. Well, well, well. If it isn't the girl who tried to white out our captions. We work hard on those quits. How dare you? Prepare to be indestructible. Oh my gosh, the Indestructibodies. I just want to say, it's going to be an honor to be killed by you. Eh, I bet we could take these dorks. Ha! Indestructible bro has no weaknesses. Oh, yeah? <laughs> My one weakness. Hey, that's cheating. Get him! With no powers, Dipper and Co. are helpless. Wait a minute. <laughs> Suddenly, Seuss and friends gain totally rad powers and kick everyone's butts. <laughs> Name. Painbow powers will beat you red, orange, yellow, green, black, and blue. Catchphrase. Taste the painbow! Name, overthinker. Powers, teleconervousness. Catchphrase. Think again, and again, and again. Sweaty or not, here I come. Name, sick shooter. Powers, shooting first, authoring journals later. Catchphrase. I six. Name, glad widow. Powers, cutting blades and cutting sarcasm. Catchphrase. Catchphrases are lame, man. Name, dude, dude. Powers, grows bigger every time he says dude. Catchphrase. Do you even have to ask, dude? You won't like me when I'm amiable, dude. That's a lot of bodies. Should I feel morally conflicted about this? Woo woo! What a rush! There you are. Okay, wise guy, now tell us where Stan is. And no more gag jokes or funny business. How's about prop comedy? Oh, great. Huh? Oh no, I've been blown into the margins. Dots? Dots, where are you? Oh man, this is confusing. A D that looks like a G? Where am I? Dipper! Wendy? Mr. Pines? What? I know those sobs! <laughs> Mr. Pines? Zeus! I, I wasn't crying! I was shooting attack poison from my eyes! Like a desert lizard! Stay back! This is where you've been? I've never seen this comic before. That's because Lil Stanley is my comic. I drew it myself when I was 10 years old. But I thought you hated comics. I, I, I loved comics so much. I read them all. Captain Nazi Puncher, Skimbarella, The Excessive Force. Creating my own comic was my childhood dream. While Stanford was reciting the digits of pi in his sleep, I was planning a cartoon empire, but I was rejected by publishers. They said Lil Stanley contained too much swearing for kids and was technically a pyramid scheme in comic form. I gave up on punchlines and instead just took up punching in general. I was a cartoonist no more. I also got into a fist fight with Stan Lee in 1973, which didn't help things. That's why I can't bear to see comics now. I loved comics, Seuss, but comics never loved me back. Hey you! Lil Stanley for sale! Only three bucks! I am indifferent to Tuesdays. I'm gonna poison your lasagna, sarcastic pup! Dude, all this time you were a fellow comic lover like me. We have so much to discuss. Secret identities, plot twists, convention orders, lettering, lettering, dude! Keep it down. I don't want sarcastic pup to make fun of me. His stop bubbles can be hurtfully sassy. I got good news for you, dude. Comics have changed since you were a kid way back in, uh, I don't know, dinosaur times or whatever. Now, thanks to the internet, you can have an army of creepy fans without ever leaving your basement or putting on pants. Really? I do hate pants. Welcome to the world of comics. I just think you have someone you need to apologize to. Alright, lesson learned, pal! I love comics, okay? Now let me out of here! You mean you love graphic novels? No, I mean comics! Just say it... NEVER! In that case, prepare for a novel death, 
and it's gonna be quite graphic! <laughs> My precious paper stock! Guys, you escaped! Yeah, I remember this place is just made out of paper. It's really easy to cut. Plus, we realized we'd need to pay another $14.99 to buy the next issue of this story. $14.99? That's highway robbery! As a former highway robber, I would know! You can't escape that easy! I'll just keep introducing plot twists and villains until you're done for! And there's nothing you can do to stop me! Oh, yeah? This ends right now! Not white out! No! Is this the end of me? Yes! A power in play. <laughs> 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 The third dimension! How oh, I missed you! Well, I think we've all learned a lesson today. Reading is bad. We should burn all books and overthrow the government. I'm not sure that's the takeaway. I'm just glad to be back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God! A little photocopying, some staples, some nacho stains, and voila! Lil Stanley number one is in business! But, but, what if no one buys it? I haven't gotten better at drawing since I was 10. I think I accidentally photocopied some arm hairs in there. Maybe we should take him down. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. A book for kids that has swears in it? Cool! <laughs> Mr. Barnes, are you crying again? I think I've got ink in my eye. Let that be a lesson to all of us. Beneath every hard, grunkly exterior beats the soft, nerdy heart of a Seuss. Our next story concerns Weird Mageddon. Although Bill's demise repaired the rift, Gravity Falls was never quite the same after. A giant fault line, which Dipper named Mabel's Fault, opened up in the forest. Phone reception began glitching and a few tiny dimensional rips remained, popping up in the oddest places. Ford decided to invite the kids along on one last adventure to repair these wormholes. Unfortunately, when one rift closes, another one sometimes opens in a story I call, Don't Dimension It. Ah, finally, a family camping trip. I'm gonna name every squirrel and eat every dangerous kind of oak. We're not camping, Mabel. This is a scientific expedition. We're searching for leftover multi-dimensional rips from Weird Mageddon, a patch with alien adhesive. So keep an eye out for anything that seems... Lovecrafty. Great Uncle Ford, what was it like in the multiverse anyway? Confusing. One minute you're breathing air, the next you're breathing fingers. Think you found a sandwich? It's a planet. You just ate a planet. Multiverse tips. Don't eat planets. Got it. Just be careful where you point that nerd gun, Brainiac. We need these kids back on the bus in three days, and I want them going home in one piece! Stanley, under your watch, the twins fell into a bottomless pit. I'm not sure you should be giving caretaker advice. What? I'm the best caretaker ever! I've taught these kids valuable life lessons, like how to hotwire cop cars! What's Dipper's real name? Diptholomew, I don't know! Bottom line, I can caretaker circles around you! Hey, Grunkle Stan, this oak makes my face feel funny! Not now, sweetie. Hey, Dipper, guess who I brought along? <laughs> Mabel, didn't you hear Ford? This is a dangerous mission. Oh, come on. This gal needs some one-on-one -on -one pig time before summer's over. Mabel, I know you don't want to hear this, but don't you think you're being a pinch self-centered? What? I'm the least self-centered person. Trust me, it's scientifically proven that every adventure is better with a pig. Right, Waddles? Waddles! I walk these kids like a hawk. Nothing gets past me! Found my pig! Mabel! Marble! Oh, Stay back! Who's your little guy? You are good! Ah, pig! I'm being grabbed by a pig! Mabel! Lord! Do something! Good thing I wore my infinity belt! Stanley! Grab hold of me! Bad things are happening right now, guys! Whatever you do! Don't! Let! Ah! Go! Mabel! No!
We're trapped forever. The smartest Mabel here, Brain Bull, tried to invent a dimensional escape pod, but she's been too busy working on her sticker collection to finish it. What? I mean, I love stickers as much as the next Mabel, but what about home? I bet if we work together, we can get that puppy up and running. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought when you said puppy. Who said puppy? Puppy? Where? I want a pet a puppy! Mabel! Mabel, sweetie! Come out, I've got some candy for you! And I'll give you some delicious vitamin supplements! 14 kinds of zinc! You don't know anything about Mabel, do you? Of course I do! I scanned her entire molecular structure the day I came here. Guess how many enzymes she has? <laughs> the answer might surprise you! Sixer, I swear if I lose my niece... Stanley, trust me. We'll find Mabel. I know the multiverse. Mabel! Keep looking! <laughs> Again, and I don't need another one! Chillax, shook it around to it when Evs. What a hack, some suck. I do not appreciate your laid back attitude, Maybro! These Mabels are driving me crable! The stands can't get here soon enough! Finally, a normal one! Oh, hey, which Mabel are you? They haven't given me a name yet, thank goodness. I don't know why they think everyone needs one. Sounds like you're anti label, Mabel! No, I'm just a regular Mabel, like you! Listen, there's a way out of here, but I don't trust these other whack jobs to work together with me. Some of these other Mabels seriously creep me out. Hey! Stanbo is single and ready to mingle! <laughs> you got friends searching for you, right? We need to send a signal to them. Military expert Mabel has a flare gun, but she says it's for emergency raves only. You distract her, I'll steal it, and together we can get back to our home dimensions. I like the way you think, Mabel. That's because I think like you, Mabel. <laughs> this distress beacon will either summon an interdimensional good Samaritan or an unimaginable beast that feeds on fear. I like those odds. <laughs> well, entangle my particles. What are you apostrophe backslashes doing out here in the multi-sticks? Looking for the best grandniece in the multiverse. You seen her? Maybe I have, but I never let a known criminal onto my truck. My criminal record made it into space? Gotta admit, I'm kind of impressed with myself. I was talking about him. Your water posters are everywhere from here to La Crown Night. Are you serious? Mr. Goody Nerd chooses a criminal out here? Look, I might have stolen a few hundred parts to build my quantum destabilizer, but it was all in the name of science. How's about we leave him cuffed in the back and I sit in the front? Deal! What? So I says, dark matter? More like dark matter! <laughs> Brilliant! I hate this. So there I was, surrounded by bodies. I won the war, but I am lost my soul. I was all like, oh. oh, totally, totally been there. Oop, gotta go. Mabel biz. So, yes, sir. I, I hope, hope this works. works. Sticks the heck. 
You and me, what a pair we are. There she is! Quick, head towards that exploding child! We did it! Ha-ha! <laughs> Mabel's for the win! Gonna be a long trip back. Need a bathroom break? Good thinking, me. I am so considerate. Be right back. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Ford's here to rescue us. Correction, he's here to rescue me. You're stuck here, idiot. What? You think I want to be trapped in this godforsaken maypole listening to these nitwits talk about boys and glitter for all eternity? I don't even like glitter! What kind of Mabel are you? The exact kind of Mabel you aren't. And considering how easy it would be for me to guess this, you'll probably never figure it out. You're, you're the exact opposite of me. You're the anti-Mabel! Ding, ding, ding! I was chased out of my dimension for being the most evil Mabel in the multiverse. I have no home to return to. That's why I'm going to leave with your uncles and take over your life, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mabel, no! Mabel, yes! Woof! You think you can find your girl among all these Googleaks? Why, of course I... I... Oh, dear. Can't recognize your own niece. <laughs> Who's the bad caretaker now? Hey, Grunkles! Low line of pigs and sweaters. <laughs> I'm a goofball, Wibble Zibble. That's her! No, no! This can't be happening! Everyone, quick! We have to stop that ship or I'm trapped here forever! Totally. I'll help right after I finish my cottages. Right, meow -ble? Can't talk. Chase your tail. <laughs> go. 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 What's wrong with you guys? This is an important mission, and you're all just being totally self sent oh. oh, Mabel, you gotta work on yourself. Attention, Mabels of Mabe 3L. I used to be just like you. So caught up in my own Mabelness that I neglected those around me. Heck, I caused an entire apocalypse just to get one more day of summer. Crikey, you gotta be pulling out wallabies, mate. I'm afraid it's true, Gadable. I'm going to be better, but in order to do that, I need to get back home. My ride is leaving, and if you help me catch it, I promise I'll never be selfish again. Now, I know it's a long shot, but does anyone here have a grappling hook? Don't you ever scare me like that again, pumpkin! Apologies, dearest uncle. I will not transgress your laws again. Ha <laughs> ha! Transgress? Classic Mabel! Shh, Stanley. Something seems... off about Mabel. Oh, here we go! You're just jealous that I was able to pick her out of a crowd and you weren't! Great Uncle Stanford, do you have any futuristic mega weapons that I could bring home with me? Uh, for educational purposes? Yes. Over there by the airlock. Don't move! Have you lost your mind? My alien adhesive! I wanted to do this the easy way, guys. I really did. We were all going to go home as one happy family. But I guess I'll have to tell Dipper you two were lost in space! Looking forward to my new dimension, by the way. Been hankering for a new civilization to overthrow. Mabel? Sweetie, I think maybe you've had too much sugar. I'm not Mabel! Dang it, Stan! You got the wrong one! Oh, you are loving the chance to throw this in my face! Sounds like you two need some space! Endless space! Wh what is that? <laughs> Looks like the Mabels have turned! I don't get it. Now give me back my Gruggles! You want them? This shooting star shoots back! Mabel ah! back! Take that, Mabel! You're gonna take me alive! <laughs> you got me bad, Mabel. I think I'm going to visit that big... Mabel... <coughs> in the sky! Don't you die on me, military expert Mabel! Not on my watch! I have a pig at home. Tell him... <coughs> Tell him he's a cute little guy. Mabel, to the rescue! Yes, rescued by mouth! 
just like in my dreams. This is dumb. All of this is dumb. I can't feel my legs. Had enough? You! I'll knock the glitter out of you, you giggling punchline! I'd like to see you try. Look up, puppy! Where? What's going on? Which one's the real Mabel? Uh, I can't tell. They're equally adorable. Welcome to Sweater Town! Why does this always happen with doubles? There was only some way to tell them apart. Wait, wait, it's not what it looks like. You think you've defeated me, but I'm a part of you. Every selfish choice you make, that's being just like me. What do you have to say to that? This is for military, Mabel. That glue sealed my wounds, soldier. Thanks for everything. With this ship, we can find our various home dimensions. I can't wait to see my dipper again. Me too. Me three. On the table. Later, Mabels. Don't do anything I would do. <laughs> well, I guess we're both terrible caretakers. Rescued by our own niece. I don't know how we'll live this down. Hey, for what it's worth, I love you both. But maybe the reason you two can't take care of kids is that you kind of still are kids. Maybe it's time for you to take care of each other. Ha ha! Take that, multiverse! This is how we do it in Jersey! Pines, pines, pines! I can't believe you got to go to the multiverse! What was it like? Real stupid. But the stupidest part was me. I guess what I wanted to say is... I'm sorry for being selfish this summer. I guess it took me dealing with myself to realize what you put up with. <laughs> okay, who are you and what have you done with Mabel? I shot her out of an airlock. Oh, I also got something for you from someone named Mae Bipper. She said I could have it. What? This is for me? It's time for us to start some new adventures. And this time, I won't always hog the spotlight. Also, if you ever see someone who looks exactly like me but hates rainbows, drown her in a river. So, Dipper and Mabel's supernatural summer came to a close. Of course, they weren't the first Pines twins to get into paranormal trouble. I was rooting through Stan's secrets drawer when I found this old scrapbook, which hadn't been opened since 1960-something. You can still smell the saltwater taffy. In it, I discovered many fascinating things. But most fascinating of all was a tale about the original mystery twins that had been lost to time. Until now, a tale I like to call Jersey Devils in the Details. Pow! Zambo! Our heroes punch those pirate ghosts right in the crotch, and the stand of war makes its getaway with the treasure. I'm not sure ghosts have crotches. That's what makes you the smart one, Sixer. Pines! 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 <laughs> Boy, this would be a lot more fun with water. So what are we gonna do today, buddy? Search for dead rats under the pier? Steal some windowsill pies? I'm thinking of hunting down one of these urban legends. Did you know that New Jersey has over 300 monsters in this county alone? I love it, Sixer. We got the whole summer ahead of us. Nothing's gonna stop us from finding the lobster yeti of your dreams. Stand pines! He, he means you. you. So I come down to the pawn shop for a nice day of overcharging tourists for buffalo nickels. And what do I see? An archaeopteryx? Barf! Lots of barf! I find my swankiest gold chain missing from its case! What? You saying we did this, Pa? No, I'm saying you did this, Stanley. First, there was Mrs. Crampelter's glass eye. Then there was your crab fighting ring. You're always pickpocketing and monkey shining. And this is the last straw! But all day! Tell him, Sixer! Yeah, Pa, I know Stanley's got a reputation, but this time it's really not him. You really want to stick your neck out for Goofus over here? Then prove it, smart guy. You've got 24 hours to find the chain, or Stanley is going to be grounded indoors for the rest of the summer! <laughs> Darn, Pa! I'm innocent! Jewelry's for girls and pirates! What kind of weirdo would want that chain anyway? Wait... weirdo... The Jersey Devil! 
Legend has it that this cloven-hoofed weirdo of the night hides by the boardwalk and pilfers gold and jewels to add to its collection. Many have hunted it, but none have lived to tell the tale. Are you saying that horse-faced donkey goblin stole Pa's chain? If the hoof fits... Look! Hoof prints? Hot biscuits! You might be onto something! We're gonna find that monster, get the chain, and get back our summer! <laughs> Hey, Mom! We're off to investigate a scientific anomaly! We're sneaking out to fight the devil! Be on by dinner! Is this your card? Wow. I knew you were gonna say that. Okay, time to stock up on mystery hunting supplies and weapons. Way ahead of ya! Say hello to my associate, Shanklin the Stab Possum! <laughs> part pet, part assassin, the perfect weapon! Primitive, but effective. Attaboy, Shanklin! Stab those mysteries! Ding ding! Did someone say mystery? Who are you? Creepin' Cove Captains! We're the sibling brothers, and no one cracks a caper quicker than us! Ain't that right, ah, uh, Scott? You bet your loafers, Dicky! And I'd say it's trouble o'clock at Clue Cove! Yikes! You guys always talk <laughs> like this? Surely you've heard of our capers in the papers. We're here to sleuth the socks off the peculiar puzzle of the purloined pawn shop. What? Hey, back off! This mystery is already ours. We caught it first. <laughs> you? No offense, but it must be hard to stay undercover when you have six fingers. Uh. And your brother has a possum in his pants. That's his home! He's nesting! <laughs> Sorry, chums, but I deduce there's only room in this town for one pair of mystery twins. <laughs> oh, excellent deduction, Dicky. See you in the funny papers. Don't listen to those jerks. Everyone's jealous of your extra finger. And I will never apologize for this pants possum. We just need to find that beast before they do. According to this book, clues could be in two places. Either here... Nope. Or... Step right up, folks! See the incredible one-headed man! Just a nickel to see the human pickle! We've got Sado, the clown that won't stop crying! It's the happiest place in Jersey! No cups allowed. This seems like a good place for children! <sighs> hey, Muscles! You seen a monster around here? Sure. Every time I look in the mirror, now either pay to look at Walrus Girl, or get lost! We're not leaving until we get info on that thing! Where is it hiding? Sorry, boys, but we don't give our secrets to normies. Yeah, we ain't got time for average Jackson Freaktown. Why don't you walk your normal amount of legs out of here, normie? Normie! 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 I'm being made fun of for fitting in! I'm so confused! Who you calling Normie? <gasps> One of us. Very well. We will confide in a fellow abnormal ally. Legend says the Jersey Devil lives by this very dock. A clue to its whereabouts was tattooed on my back by a drunken sailor many years ago but I was never able to crack the riddle. Eat saltwater Jaffe seagull flavored taffy? Oh no, sorry, I rent out this shoulder for ads. Look by my spine. House of light at six o'clock, a pathway hidden in the rocks. Descend below the stony stair, you'll find the devil lurking there. A house of light? Oh, I'm stumped. The lighthouse, that's it! Sorry we called you normal. Bye, kids. Say hi to the devil for me. I like them. Okay, let me do all the talking. Hey, Eye Patch, we're gonna rummage through your junk. Let us in or we'll chuck crabs at your face. Ha! Who do you think you are, the sibling brothers? I ain't letting a known delinquent like Stanley Pines in here. Now scram before I call the awkward teenage lifeguards. I don't get it. I said all the right things. There's got to be another way to... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, dime my novel. Looks like another break in the case. Dandy, this calls for a flavorless malt. Do you mind? We're walking here. Very well. 
We were just on our way to Smuggler's Lookout. To look out for smugglers. After you. No, after you. <laughs> no, after you. 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 Just stop it. <gasps> oh my god. We killed the sibling brothers. Want to steal their outfits and impersonate them to get into the lighthouse? Logical. That's logical. Out of my way, Gramps! Why, it's clearly the Sibling Brothers! Or my name ain't Horrible Eyesight Hawkins! Yeah, yeah, nobody asked your life story! Ugh, this sweater is giving me hives! If I ever dress like this on purpose, put bleach in my Ovaltine! Hmm, it's six o'clock, but I don't see any pathway. Wait, if six o'clock isn't a time, maybe it's an angle! 90 degrees of rotation! is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I once saw a pelican eat a firecracker. To the cave! This is so exciting! We could be on the verge of the cryptozoological find of the century. We'll be in periodicals. Periodicals, Stanley! Imagine Pa seeing our faces in the papers. Huh, yeah. Hey, Ford, why do you think Pa is so hard on me? Do you really think I'm a bad kid? What? No, it's just... You, you like taking shortcuts, and sometimes it gets you into trouble, you know? It just sometimes feels like Pa hates me. Our old man just has a short fuse. No matter what anyone says, you're a good kid, Stanley. Ah! Hey! Come back, Shanklin! You're only supposed to pickpocket strangers! Wait, Stanley! The light! Allow us. Ah! You two! We have something you might want to see. Unless it's pictures of you two getting kicked by a horse and good. Look, Buster, while you two are playing dress up, we just solved the case. And you ain't gonna like it. What? Stanley? We've got photographers all over town. How do you think we solve every mystery? Looks like your idiot brother is the sicky fingered scofflaw. But I don't understand. Why would he do it? Why would he lie to me? And what about the Jersey Devil? There is no Jersey Devil. It's just an excuse sailors made up to explain why rum goes missing. And it was your brother's perfect cover. Oh, Stanley. Hey, Sixer! The good news is I found the light! But there's also bad news. <laughs> Jersey Devil! It's real! I'd be excited if I wasn't so terrified! Well, f Hey, hey! Look who finally learned to swear! Ah! Ah! Hey, look! Hell! We'll be safe in there! <laughs> Stanley? Why did you steal Pa's chain? I trusted you! I defended you! I... I didn't steal it, okay? I was borrowing it! I was gonna polish it up for Pa as a Father's Day gift, but I accidentally smashed the case and I got too scared and embarrassed to tell him what happened! No matter what I do, I'm not a genius like you. I'm a dumb idiot who screws everything up. Do you know what it's like being the stupid twin? I wish just once Pa would look at me the way he looks at you. Like he actually likes me. Stanley? I think this is the end! Well, got my shoes. What have we here? Looks like you've got a choice, Stanford. You've always wanted to catch a paranormal beast, and we've got one right here at our fingertips. Give us the photos proving your brother's guilt, and we'll let you keep the monster. Otherwise, we'll frame you both. But Pa would never forgive me! Look, Stanford, your brother may be guilty, but you're not. Why should you be punished for this moron's crimes? One day you're gonna realize that you're too good for him. Do you really want your brother to be dragging you down for your whole life? Join us, or go down together. Fine. 
I guess it's important to admit when you've been bested. Huh? And you've been bested! Get him, Shanklin! <laughs> You idiot! Now no one will know you found the beast! Just who do you two think you are?! I'll tell you who we are! We're the Pines Twins, kings of New Jersey! We're weirdos and hooligans, and we look out for each other and misfits like us! Now get off my dock! Just you wait, we'll get our revenge! There's no room in this town for freaks like you! Oh yeah? <laughs> who you calling freaks? <laughs> and that's how Stanley and me wound up grounded for the summer. To be honest, we didn't even mind. Solitary confinement isn't so bad with the right prison mate. Paul was angry when Stan confessed, but I think some small part of him appreciated the honesty. I guess I'll never know. Hey Sixer! You think we'll really be adventuring for the rest of our lives? Only time will tell. Stanley Stanford over the bounding sea. One was a brave adventurer, the other was Stanley. Adventures, dentures, they'll travel to foreign lands. With fists and brains and bodily pains, nothing can stop the stands. Stanford bravely teaches math to a whale. Stan will flirt with mermaid gals and probably will fail. Swashbuckling, brass knuckling, foiling monsters' plans. Reunited at last, rewriting the past, nothing can stop the stands. So the Stan brothers began an adventure of a lifetime. The kind of adventure that would make a great movie, honestly. Maybe a miniseries? Is that too much to ask? Honestly, would it kill them to give us some new adventures? After summer comes fall. A whole new season, if you will. I can't be the only one who wants another season, right? Right? I've invested so much time in these characters' lives. They can't just leave me. By Lucifer's bed! What would it take for more gravity falls? But I suppose all tales must end. There's an old gnomish proverb. Which I believe translates to every sunset leads to a sunrise. Either that or the gnome was choking on a pine cone. Perhaps it is time for me to stop observing and start living my own stories. Before I return to my prison of silence, I offer you one last secret. There is a message hidden in this book, and the only true way to find that message is... Shmabulok! If you've ever seen a Northwest map, you'll identify this tourist trap. From the outside it looks like crap, but there's magic in it. And now it's been a long, long time since the summer amongst the pines. Take a trip with me and you'll find we'll be mystery twinning. Take me back to the place I know with the mystery shack and the forest gnomes. I'm already back, so come on, let's go. Don't get me started, my heart's in gravity. If you dare try that Oregon town where the weird and rare always hang around. And while you're there, check the lost and found from my body part, cause my heart's in gravity falls. Skeletons made out of clay, you don't see that every day. There'll be even more if you stay just a little longer It's probably a lot to take And I know you might think it's fake But I'm telling you in the lake There's a gobble wonker Take me back to the place I know With the mystery shack and the haunting ghost I'm already back so come on let's go Don't get me started My heart's in gravity If you dare try that Oregon town Where the weird and rare always hang around And while you're there check the lost and found For my body part cause my heart's in gravity falls No one ever could enchant us in the way that Gronk or Stan does If we're lucky and we're able We can find Dipper and Mabel Take me back to the place I know With the mystery shack and the forest gnomes I'm already back so come on let's go Don't get me started, my heart's in gravity falls
Do you think Grunkle Stan will like these new red and green M&Ms? I don't know. I never met the guy. Ah! He does exist! They do exist! Uh, Grunkle Stan? <laughs>